Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm VR Nosy. Welcome back to another video. Um, it's been a while since I've been able to pump any videos out due to a broken leg. I was kind of putting out some stuff, but nothing really of any quality. Um, I'm still recovering. There's still some pain, but I am getting better and I wanted to put out a uh, video for you guys. So uh, a while back, AMVR actually sent over a new VR uh, like face shield for the Oculus Quest to me. Um, for me to do a review of. I've had a chance to try it out. It's pretty good. I like it and I wanted to go ahead and show that to you guys. Um, so it's going to come in a box. I've already opened mine up pretty much just like this. Um, there's really not a whole lot in the box that you need other than the key component. So if you're familiar with the Rebuff Reality um, VR Shield, then this might look a little bit familiar. A lot of people were waiting for Rebuff Reality to put out a uh, VR shield for the Quest 2, and that just never happened. Um, and so I don't know why. I personally have reached out to Rebuff Reality, and they said that they do not have one in the plans for the Quest 2, um, so we probably are not going to see one. So what there, there is on the market right now is what we have available to us, and uh, I've gone through a couple and um, I do really like this one. Um, I don't know that it's going to be my main go-to every single time because there is one that I do like a little bit more. And I'll save that for another video. But that being said, this is definitely a uh, game changer and definitely a top of the line um, VR shield for your Quest 2. So to show you how to install this, you're going to take your, your Quest 2. Um, you want to go ahead and unplug anything that you have plugged in. So if you have a battery pack plugged in, if you have an audio cable plugged in, you want to make sure that you go ahead and remove those so that you can properly fit this on. One thing that I'll mention that's nice about this is this plastic right here. Um, this is better than most of the silicone ones for the simple reason that with the, the, the plastic, it's going to be able to disperse heat a lot more easily um, in general. And um, it, you're not going to have any tracking problems. It's got these holes in it that are made for the trackers. Um, the front design is really cool. So aesthetically, this is actually really, really nice. Um, the bottom is going to be the part with the hole down here for your volume indicator. And literally, guys, all you're going to do is you're going to take the, uh, the VR Shield from AMVR. Um, they make some really great products. I haven't really got anything of theirs that I haven't liked. Um, all it's going to do is it's just going to slide over the top and snap into place. Um, once you get it on, it's, it just sort of fits. It's not going, if you've had any of the previous um, ones off of Amazon or something, um, compared to, like I said, the Rebuff Reality, they tend to slip off. You're not going to have that problem with the AMVR VR Shield. Um, this baby will definitely stay on. It's not going anywhere. It gives an, a, a beautiful aesthetic to your Quest 2. Um, I really like the design on the front. It's definitely a hard plastic, and it will do exactly what it says as far as actually protecting your Quest if you bump into something. Um, so that is a, a big positive. The positives for this are going to be A, it's not, I haven't had my quest overheat. Um, B, it definitely has a nice aesthetic. It's tough, it's rough, it's gonna do what it's made to do as far as protecting your quest. Um, and uh, it really does kind of have that same feeling that we used to get from Rebuff Reality. So um, if you liked theirs and you're upset that they don't have one, they kind of dropped the ball with the Quest 2 and coming out with one, AMBR picked up that ball and said, hey guys, I'm going to put one on the table. Um, they've done a great job with it. So I really like it. Um, I would definitely recommend this product if uh, you're in the market for a VR Shield. Um, Compared to some of the other ones out there, this one has some benefits over it, um, especially when it comes to the protection of your Quest and not just aesthetics or anything. And like I said, I haven't had any overheating problems. Um, I will put it on for you guys just so you can see it while I'm wearing it. I want to wrap up this video. I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time, but just so you can go ahead and see it, um, this is what it looks like while I'm wearing it. Um, I do have other modifications on my Quest 2. If you're curious about those, reach out to me. Um, if you guys found this video helpful, please, please, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my future content. Like the video, share it with your friends. Um, anyway, guys, I will have more VR content coming your way. 
Um, I wanted to do this video because, like I said, AMBR did send this over to me for me to review, and I broke my leg literally right after it had arrived, and I was never able to do the video. Um, but uh, I did put it on and, and try it out while I had my broken leg, and I liked it, and now that I'm still recovering from my broken leg, but I'm getting around better, um, I'm able to put on the VR headset and do stuff and, and have some fun, not quite the way I used to, but I can still get in VR and have some fun, and so I wanted to pump out a video for you guys to show you uh, an awesome accessory for your Oculus Quest 2. Um, don't, please don't buy those cheap ones on Amazon that are like the super, super cheap silicone ones. There's so many overheating problems with those. There are some that are good, but don't, don't just take a guess. Um, you could seriously damage your Quest 2 by going with certain products that do the same thing. If you want a quality one, you want one that isn't going to overheat, and you want one that is really, really going to bring um, a, just a beautiful front cover look to your Oculus Quest 2, um, you're not going to get any better than the uh, face shield from AMVR. And again, they make very high quality products. Um, that's pretty much it for the video, guys, um, and I will catch you guys in the next one.